country in terms of in terms of information and learning about the enemy. Absolutely. And so we're going to have to do certain things that were frankly unthinkable a year ago. When you look at what's happening. And in terms of doing this, to pull off the kind of tracking we need, do you think we might need to register Muslims in some type of database or note their religion on their ID? Well, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to look at a lot of things very closely. We're going to have to look at the mosques. Uh, we're going to have to look very, very carefully. So there has been a lot of political reaction to this today. I think understandably, but the audio makes it quite clear, I think, that it wasn't Mr. Trump proactively raising the idea of a national registry of Muslims or making Muslims carry special documentation, identifying them as Muslims. Uh, the reporter for Yahoo News, Hunter Walker, raised those specific prospects. And the issue here is how the candidate responded when he heard those very, very radical ideas. So. That's where we were as of this afternoon. We emailed the Trump campaign today to try to figure out if the candidate really means what was implied by that conversation. Uh, we asked his press secretary this. Uh, we asked, would Mr. Trump rule out a database of American Muslims, or would he consider that? And would he rule out having Muslims carry a form of ID that notes their religion, or would he consider that? So we've put those direct questions to the Trump campaign. So far, we have not heard back directly from the campaign, but he here is why this is at the top of the show tonight, and this is why this here's why this is breaking political news. The candidate himself did address the subject again tonight, not with Yahoo News, but when he was asked about it by an NBC News reporter on a rope line at an event in Newton, Iowa. Should there be a database system that tracks the Muslims in this country? There should be a lot of systems beyond database. I mean, we should have a lot of systems, and today you can do it. But right now, we have to have a border, we have to have strength, we have to have a wall, and we cannot let what's happening to this country happen. But that's in the something your White House would like to implement. Oh, I would certainly implement that. Absolutely. What do you think the effect of that would be? How would that work? It would stop people from coming in illegally. We have to stop people from coming in to our country illegally. For Muslims specifically, how do you actually get them registered in your data? It would be just good management. What you have to do is good management procedures. And we can do that. It's nice. I mean, do, you, do you go to mosques and sign these people up? And the different places. You sign them up at different, but it's all about management. Our country has no management. Muslims specifically. How do you get them registered into a database? It would just be good management. We talk about extremism in American politics all the time. Um, and even presidential frontrunners sometimes say things that seem beyond the pale. And we all say, wow, that seems beyond the pale. But a national registry of Americans who are one particular religion? A mandatory national registry of people of one religion, requiring them to be entered into a federal database, making Muslims carry special documentation that identifies them as Muslims. If this isn't a big misunderstanding, this really is kind of beyond beyond the pale. I mean, I live in hope that we will get a response from the Trump campaign directly on whether this really is what he is proposing to do. Uh, but so far, the most direct conversations on this matter have come uh, in conversations between NBC News reporter Vaughn Hilliard um, and Donald Trump, who spoke with Mr. Trump today uh, about this issue in Iowa uh, on two occasions, actually. Vaughn Hilliard, thank you very much for being with us tonight on very short notice. I really appreciate you being here. Hi, Rachel, yes. So, um, Mr. Trump had these conversations uh, with Yahoo News today in which a reporter raised the prospect of a Muslim registry and religion-specific identification cards for Muslim Mr. Muslims. Mr. Trump did not uh, bat those ideas away or say they were unreasonable. He also didn't directly endorse them. In your conversation with him, where you really pressed him on those policies specifically, did he seem to understand what you were talking about, and did he seem to indicate one way or the other whether he supported those policies? Yes, I, I think the thing is that there were questions up in the air. When I got him on the rope line tonight, that was a specific question. Should there be a database for Muslims in the United States? And at first he said, well, yes, we should have a database. It's more than databases. And then he sort of turned the conversation to illegal immigration, that we need a border, we need to identify the people here in the country. And that's when I followed up again. I said, okay, but we're sp talking specifically, specifically about Muslims. Should there be a Muslim database? And he said, absolutely. He said, I certainly will implement that if, in my White House. And then 
I said, okay, but where do we go from there? If we're trying to identify Muslims, they said, where are we going to identify them? And that's when he said many different places. I said mosques, and he said many different places. And then I said, okay, well, how are we actually going to go about that? And then that's when he goes, we're going to go to many different ways. He goes, and that's when he turned the conversation to management. And he goes, I'm a manager, and this country is not being managed correctly. And so that was the question in the air, and he absolutely did understand that the question was about Muslim databases. Um, that would not be denied. He said absolutely certainly that we should implement that in the Trump White House. And I just, and I don't mean to belabor this point, Vaughn, and I actually don't mean to be patronizing to Mr. Yeah. Trump when I say it, but is there, I, I only, and I ask this because this is such a radical thing to be discussing, and I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because it's hard for me to believe that even he uh, would propose this. Did you have any sense that he might be um, tired or confused or mishearing anything? Is there any, do, do you have any belief that there could be some ambiguity in terms of what he understood? Or were you clearly looking eye to eye and having the same conversation that both of you understood what you meant? It was very, it, no, it was very, very clear. He heard me audibly. He looked me in the eye. He knew exactly what was being asked. And actually, because you're asking that, so he actually had two town halls. With The video that you just watched was after the town hall, the first number one. So then the questions were like, okay, wait, is, did we understand this correctly? So I went for the second time. And I said, and that, that, that's a question that I posed uh, when talking to some people here, was the question of if we are going to have Muslim databases here in the United States, What's the difference between uh, registering Jews and Nazi Germany? Well, let me, let me so interrupt I, you. I went up to him and let me, about it. Let me interrupt yeah. you just for a second because we've just fed into the system just literally this second, that exchange. And I think okay. that we can actually just play a recording of that exchange. Fire away. Go ahead. Mr. Trump, why would Muslim databases not be the same thing as requiring Jews to register in Nazi Germany? What would be the difference? Is there a difference between the two? Is there a difference? I'm with NBC News. Is there a difference between requiring Muslims to register and Jews? You tell me. You tell me. Do you believe? Why don't you tell me? Do you believe there is? You tell me. Should Muslims be, I mean, fearful? Will there be consequences if they don't register? Um, and I assume that was the end of the conversation and he walked away and didn't engage with you any further? That was the end. I mean, that, that entire clip you just played was 30 seconds long. And I think I don't know how many times I asked it. I, I know that he said four different times, he said, what do you think? Uh, and I asked him, what, well, what do you think? And uh, it, it was very clear tonight. I mean, I got you know, almost a minute with him trying to just ask, and I asked the campaign afterwards if he was willing to clarify behind the stage, if he would rather, you know, explain kind of uh, his answer. And they said they didn't want to take up the offer tonight. Uh, I think what you heard, Rachel, is what it is, and I think that's a question that will uh, be a question at his future events here. Uh, number one, the extent of what do these Muslim databases mean? Uh, to what extent? And the other question I saw, I know that we asked there at the end, was are there consequences for people that do not register in the system? If you're going to have a database, are you going to be punished for not enlisting in the database? Uh, that's a question, again, he didn't answer. So at what point are we going to hear that answer? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, will it be another rope line? Will he take a presser? Uh, it's a question that we're going to have to have answered. Uh, but again, it would be interesting to hear his answer to the difference. Uh, you know, and I would think there would be a reason for the Muslim community to be concerned in the United States if that's, uh, if that's being suggested. NBC News reporter Vaughn Hilliard. Um, I'm sure that was um, oddly exhilarating and a little intimidating to be pressing that point and him getting so angry about it. Uh, thanks for explaining to us um, how that went tonight and clarifying this. I really appreciate it.